Celestial beings of eternal life, rising, waking, and co-creating heaven on earth with the power of our almighty I Am Presence. With the new earth energies flowing in fully now, the Schumann instruments have been in blackout mode for over 30 hours after the eclipse gateway and the solar eclipse in Gemini. Several top space weather sites have gone down and several satellites went offline. We are in the zero point energy of the great shift. This is the leap off point of the final omega of the 3D time loops as we merge all timelines into the one true pure land of enlightenment. As we prepare for this quantum leap of consciousness, it is important to keep a positive mindset and keep your vibrations high. Keep living from your heart and walking your sacred path gently into the ascension portal of heaven on earth. We are fully activated and on mission of manifesting the new Eden of eternal bliss consciousness. Keep it simple and do what makes you happy. Happiness is having a happy thought right now. It is not some future event. Hold the line of 5D life as we are lifted through the vortex of our higher multidimensional minds. The sacred self made manifest with our mighty I Am Presence. The sun is preparing its Merkaba for what is being called the termination event, which is an electromagnetic buildup for a release into freedom from past codes, contracts, and ties that bind. Total annihilation is total liberation. This is the quickening and the great harvest. The foundation of new earth is set in place. Now we build the utopia that was just a myth in the past, but is now to be made manifest. Keep shining your light brightly, divine ones, and hold the still presence of heavenly grace. Keep smiling from your heart's center, transmitting your highest love and holy light into this realm, into this field of infinite potential. Aho! And with the power of this stillness, this calm before the great storm, We are feeling these energies on the deepest levels. This is the power of silence, the power of stillness. When we become still in body, mind, and spirit like the sacred mountain, we transform into dragon and swallow the whole universe. We realize the holographic nature of the multiverse. We realize the one and the many and the many and the one that separation only exists in the mind of man. And in truth, there is only not two. It is not one, it is not many. It is beyond both concepts and beyond all concepts. When we say you cannot die because you were never born, you just don't remember who you are. The key is that you cannot remember because it is not a memory. It is your eternal self that is now. It is the pure awareness that is your eternal self. We call life, we call this Buddha consciousness, Buddha mind, or the unborn mind of Buddha. Another name we can use, cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness, God consciousness, or the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. And it is in the realization of your true nature that you are freed from all concepts, all beliefs, all ideologies, and you become your own master, an ascended master of the light. This is the great awakening. And this is it. The time has come to wake up from the false dream into that which is real, unconditional, eternal love. And as of this recording, we're still beyond 30 hours of blackout on the Schumann charts. So we'll go and view the activations around Pachamama we had Uh, 212 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over this realm, most powerful Central America, home of our Mayan elders, Guatemala, 5.4, Council of Nine coming in earlier today, British Virgin Islands, 4.0, Chile, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini of Pachamama and home of our sacred condor, 
4.6 Nylon, California, Southern California, right by the border of Mexico, Nylon, California, 3.9, 12 Divine Goddess, Venezuela, Northern Point, the most northern tip of South America, and the Atlantic Ocean, we had 5.0, 10 kilometers depth, 5 elements, 10 organs, Chile, again 4.0, Puerto Rico, 3.3, 3. Anguilla, 4.0, Indonesia on the Ring of Fire, 4.6, the Sacred Portal, Myanmar, 4.9, 13, Divine Goddess. Aleutian Islands in the Crown of Lemuria, we had two activations, 3.7 and 4.1, 37 into 73, Heaven on Earth. Shelton, Washington, not too far from where the Eagle Condor, anchoring in the Heros Gamos Codes. And this is close to the Olympic Mountains of the Great Olympia, Zeus. In Shelton, Washington, 3.9, 12, Divine Feminine. The Queen, the Goddess, has risen, and she has returned. Indonesia, 5.0, 10 kilometer depth, 5.10. Anguilla, 4.1, Sandpoint, Alaska, also in the crown, 3.8. Guatemala, again, Central America, 4.4, 4, Divine 44, fourth density, Rising up through the fourth into the fifth dimension, British Virgin Islands, New Atlantis energy, Divine Masculine, Christos, 3.7, 37, Mirror of 73, Heaven on Earth, Chalice, Idaho, 3.2, Chiapas, Mexico, 4.5, Council of Nine energy, Angol, India, and the Sacred Portal, close to the Bay of Bengal, 4.0, 10 kilometers depth, 4 into the 10, Vanuatu, Ring of Fire, 4.5, 150 kilometers depth, Indonesia, 4.6, British Virgin Islands, 3.8, Hokkaido, Japan, 4.2, 164 kilometers depth, Kodiak Island, Alaska, 3.1, 3.3, 33, Divine Mastery, and then a 3.0, Trinity, 3, right in a row, very powerful activations in the crown, Chile, South America, another activation, 4.0. Vanuatu, 4.8. Another Kodiak Island, Alaska, activation, the Sacred Portal, 3.1. Iran, 4.2. Peru, South America, also in our Sacred Andes Mountains, 4.3. 196 kilometers depth. And then an activation, Guatemala, Central America, 4.1, Philippines 4.6, Indonesia 5.2, and then in the heart of Lemuria, Volcano, Hawaii 3.7, 37 into 73, Houston, Alaska 3.0, Kermadec Islands 4.6, 4.6, 1010 Portal, first portal to my sacred condor, another activation, Guatemala 4.5, 90 kilometers depth, 99, the 99, 10 degree, most powerful, the thunder beings, thunder horse, and thunder birds with us now, Solomon Islands, the sun of the moon, the sun merging with the moon, the yin, the yang come together, the eagle, the condor fly freely, 5.0, 14 kilometers depth, Ro Russia, very far north, above the Arctic Circle, we had an activation, 4.0, 10 kilometers depth, 410, Alaska 3-3, three, three, Divine Mastery. All these activations and manifestations assisting us in this great ascension process, this great awakening that we're all a part of. These waves, these activations, these energies, frequencies preparing our physical vessel for this quantum leap of consciousness, the final great event as the event waves, the protocol has been activated and we are being prepared as we rise up through the vortex, through the sacred spiral, into the center, the fire in the middle, the sacred hoop. Let us continue now with the Sabian symbols for today. Right now the moon is at 21 degrees, 36 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 22 degrees, 19 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 23 degrees Gemini. Three fledglings in a nest high in a tree. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 22 degrees Cancer. A young woman awaiting a sailboat from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pull a card for you today from the tarot deck Shadowscapes. 
from Stephanie Poi Moon Law and Barbara Moore, and the card she pulled for you today, the Heros Gamos card, card six, The Lovers. In one of the oldest tales, there is the choice, knowledge, and fulfillment of worldly senses, or the simplicity of an ever-present now, to be drawn into an embrace, to seek that union that all souls ache for and desire, to know the oneness of passion and love and revel in it. Their eyes are open, but they gaze only at each other, oblivious to the sun that goes on turning above them and the gaze of the heavens. Neither gold and gem and crusted crown of kings nor grapevine and flower-twined crown of peasants grace their brows, for the forces gathering around them make no such distinctions. Indeed, their own senses have no awareness of such either. Take this seed, he says to her, placing an acorn in her palm. Water it with the fount of your spirit and your intentions, and we shall see what grows of that, she replies, meaning union, balance, energy, flow, love, desire, passion, melding of heart and mind, forming a union or marriage. Though it can be romantic in nature, it is not necessarily so. The lovers is also about determining values and struggling with choices. The innocence embodied in the turtle doves is a contrast to the shiny red apple in the embrace of the snake, one of the oldest symbols of temptation. Likewise, the pure simplicity of the calla lily contrasts the lush and sensual complexity of a rose. Now today from Divine Sis Star of Delight, S.A. Smith, Schumann resonance still down almost 24 hours now. The magnetosphere shows the full story. Big energies coming in all around us. We can feel the energies coming in. As our ears ring and the head pressure intensifies, we know what's happening around us. With most of the tools mysteriously going down on the same day, it makes you wonder a bit. But that's just what we'd expect to happen in this now moment. You can feel it, can't you? There's something in the air. Things are fluctuating, going up, going down. It's popcorn time. Time to sit back and remember. Keep those eyes open and watch for the changes around you. Things are happening, Divine One. From a girl in the universe.com. And an update, most of the weather tools are down for a server upgrade. Still doesn't explain why the Schumann resonance is down as well. I find it very interesting they took everything down at once. This can be done easily without downtime. Something is up. From a hair in the moon astrology, June 12, 2021. A heads up, just released solar magnetic news from space weather, the termination event. Something big may be about to happen on the sun. We call it the termination event, says Scott McIntosh, a solar physicist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. NCAR, and it's very, very close to happening. If you've never heard of the termination event, you're not alone. Many researchers have never heard of it either. It's a relatively new idea in solar physics, championed by Macintosh and colleague Bob Lehman of the University of Maryland. According to the two scientists, vast bands of magnetism are drifting across the surface of the sun. When oppositely charged bands collide at the equator, they annihilate or terminate. There's no explosion. This is magnetism, not antimatter. Nevertheless, the termination event is a big deal. It can kickstart the next solar cycle into high gear. If the terminator event happens soon, as we expect, new solar cycle 25 could have a magnitude that rivals the top few since record keeping began, says Macintosh. This is, to say the least, controversial. Most solar physicists believe that solar cycle 25 will be weak, akin to the anemic solar cycle 24, which barely peaked back in 2012 through 2013. Orthodox models of the sun's inner magnetic dynamo favor a weak cycle and do not even include the concept of terminators. The researchers outline their reasoning in the research journal Solar Physics. Looking back over 270 years of sunspot data, they found that terminator events divide one solar cycle from the next, happening approximately every 11 years. Emphasis on approximately, the interval between terminators range from 10 to 15 years, and this is key to predicting the solar cycle. We found that the longer the time between terminators, the weaker the next cycle would be, explains Lehman. Conversely, 
The shorter the time between terminators, the stronger the next solar cycle will be. Example, sunspot cycle 4 began with a terminator in 1786 and ended with a terminator in 1801, an unprecedented 15 years later. The following, cycle 5, was incredibly weak with a peak amplitude of just 82 sunspots. That cycle would become known as the beginning of the Dalton Grand Minimum. Solar cycle 25 is shaping up to be the opposite. Instead of a long interval, it appears to be coming on the heels of a very short one, only 10 years since the Terminator event that began solar cycle 24. Previous solar cycles with such short intervals have been amongst the strongest in recorded history. Lorna notes, astrologically this is happening just days after a powerful solar eclipse preceding the upcoming June 21st solstice event, both of which are delivering intense photonic light, energy changes, and ongoing shifting out of the old lower frequency patriarchal world and its reality. Typically, geomagnetic energies hold energy templates and patterns, frequency grids and codes in place etherically and physically. Every time there's another round of magnetic energy fluctuations between the sun, earth, and our systems, more of the old, lower frequency energy templates from the previous evolutionary cycle are removed, are terminated. Something big this way comes as the separation of worlds and the timelines intensifies. From here in the moon, astrology.co.uk, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, the light future, the Arcturians. As your biochemical world upgrades, a wonderful synergy of light is amplifying your timeline to a new vibrational light format. We ask you to feel beyond these words, to feel the vibrational frequencies of the collective evolution. To travel to this dimensional light field, simply a high vibrational thought with a creative image is the light format, the source code required, creativity, love, and freedom, harmonizing all beings, a greener world in alignment with Gaia and life. As your role is becoming clearer, as the seekers become the creators, your mission is before you, the new light language of your world. As your multidimensional expansion takes on a greater light trajectory, your light work is expanding beyond your personal goals to include every being. To realize your light ascension is a collective light consciousness of all beings. To see your expansion flow. Gaia, light body alignment exercise. Sit in nature, connect to your heart, your breath, the sounds of nature, the hum of your reality. Focus on your heart, your light body. Connect to Gaia. Fill your light field with love. Continue feeling into this wonderful space of love, nature, Gaia, light body synergy. Send love to every being, one light, one unity. Global harmony. The Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Heart opening, an intense heart opening is happening as the shift now intensifies. The heart will be cleaved open to reveal the core of the soul in the eternal truth, which is indeed showing us whatever still is there within us, which needs to be resolved, left behind forever, and is still keeping us from totally stepping forward into the new and much higher dimensional frequency bands and a way of life and living. I am adding loving here. In the past few weeks, I was wondering what was happening as things started to come up which I thought had been resolved a long time ago. Now it came back persistently. I was at the loss of how to deal with this, even though I had intense openings as never before and was working with the white flame in the highest degrees. I was told to bring this to humanity. I was brought back to love and loving relationships, more than this the twin flame relationship, which for me did not work out. I have long since made peace with this, and love is never absent. Other souls will always immediately step in to fill the void, and these can be many and not just one. Such is universal law. For me, the many stepped in, and indeed, powerfully so. It was this week that I was brought back to the core of the truth that love is eternal and can never, ever be turned off. The soul lives on and the souls are always eternally with each other in love and with love, for in truth the soul is love. At its core truth, there is not one single soul who is not love and does not incorporate divine love. It is impossible. It may seem that some people are lacking this on the earthly plane, especially in the 3D, but this is an illusion. 
They merely choose to play out certain actors' roles, but in the truth of their soul there is divine love, which will always make its presence felt through the entire incarnation of the soul. As souls had free will and choice in the 3D, they often rejected unconditional divine love and closed their hearts and cut themselves off from their own souls, and thus indeed created pain and suffering. I was shown the core soul fires this morning. I was shown how in truth love is eternal. So even if it seems as if one has parted in this lifetime, the souls cannot part nor be apart, for in truth all is one. We all embrace divinity within us, and we all indeed stem from the self-same source. Twin flames stem from the same soul fires, and thus cannot be separated. Although they may indeed choose not to be together during an incarnation, it is most important to also understand that most souls on earth do not have their twin flame incarnated. The souls agree to do this before incarnation, and some of the twin flames who did not incarnate then act as higher guides and are always with the one incarnated during their sleep state. Again, nothing is ever missing. At this moment, we are being faced with this eternal truth. When we open our heart center and get back to the core truth within, the divine truth, we can only expand in love. This truth is all the more powerful at this time because by divine dispensation, on the 5th of July 2020, when the old earth ceased to be and the new earth was fully born, by divine dispensation, all karma was lifted off all souls on earth. We were freed from the karmic wheel. This is immense. Note, you have free will and choice. You can choose to hold on to the old for dear life, all the unforgiveness and shame, blame and guilt. Or you can choose to finally let go and free yourself and others. Now there comes a time when you will indeed find that you will be reminded now of the love you felt for the soul concerned in eternal form. It will be there. It will show up now. Why? Because we are now leaving all behind which we ever created in the 3D, and this includes all the negative patterns we may have created during incarnations here before. Nowhere holds this truer than with the twin flame. I was shown my twin this morning in his glorious innocence and the truth of his soul. It is not that I never saw this before, it was just that I was now seeing him from an elevated space, as I had shifted immensely in the last few months and years in all aspects and have transfigured. All seems to have happened light years ago. The divine then showed me that all souls are freed, and all souls in the new earth will experience love in such an expanded form which we cannot even comprehend right now. This is what I was being prepared for. In that moment I was speechless. Such unconditional love welled up within me that I understood. The highest love indeed is when we finally attain the wholeness within ourselves, and thus find the wholeness reflected in the other. One is loved as soul and not for anything else but the soul. It becomes a merger of soul within soul, yet never one losing its wholeness in the process, but expanding into a greater spiral, a torus of creation itself. When I was shown this, I simply could do no other than totally surrender all in divine hands. When I was shown, I could not put into more words... All I can say is that, indeed, if you think you know all about love, the power of love will open more gates and more portals, and you will find you know, indeed, nothing, and that what is there to still experience and discover about love is infinite. There is no end and no beginning. One starts to step into the vastness and the power of love which goes beyond description. I am sharing this today because so many had a deep misconception about what true love indeed is. Some seek it so desperately, when in truth all paths lead within, for only if we truly experience the deepest love within for ourselves and the divine can we expand into another soul, even a twin flame. The gnosis lies within. More I will not say. There is something you need to find out for yourself. For indeed, all paths lead back to yourself and your maker and, and the infinite core truth. And you will only be given the truth to the degree that you are open to receive it and surrender to the greater power of love. I have been asking for many years and months that I would be able to experience the deepest love and profoundest, never knowing where this would all lead me, just like my quest for the white flame. And now all is coming together, for it is time to step fully into the new earth and new embodiment and leave all the old false beliefs behind, the old false programming and unwholeness, the brokenness forever, 
Nowhere will this now be more felt than in what is now to come, the waves upon waves of the deepest clearing of all which is still hindering the full heart and soul opening of humanity at large. You will be cleaved open to the core of your soul, where you cannot hide any more, and the truth will find you and set you free, in all ways, in every form, so that you can step through the golden gateways into the new earth. What is now coming cannot be put into human words, for indeed we will lose the need for words, and will return to telepathy and heart-to-heart, -heart, mind to mind, and soul to soul communication in truth. I have spoken from JudithKusel.com and from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Graham Forscut, Orion Belt, Star Seed, Star Family, Yearly Alignment, June twelfth through the fourteenth. Orion gets more press than any other star system, both good, 5D+, 4D, Black League, Resistance, and bad, 4D Crusaders. Orion groups have been active here on Earth for tens of thousands of years. Remember Solaris and the 1111 back in the early 1990s. Her work spawned from the Orion Belt, while channel source Bashar added more on the Orion Resistance. Over the past 35 years, my own research into Starseed, Star Family, reveals hundreds of ground crew from the belt are active here on Earth. Star Mintanka has been passing above Earth equator for three decades, adding a unique energetic exchange between our Earth and the Orion Belt Council. Now might be a good time to make a connection. Adepts know how. While this transit of the belt takes place, planets Jupiter and Mars are optimally connected. Jupiter Justice, Expansion Travel, and Mars Beginnings Military. Jupiter plus Mars links the path of strength in the tarot. Mercury is also conjunct to our Earth today. Mercury equal compiling and sharing data research. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Meg Benedict, Illuminating Solstice Gateway. With two powerful eclipses in the rearview mirror, we are still processing internal energetic shifts insightful revelations in the dismantling of outdated timelines. Waves of stuck emotion rushed through. Past trauma flashed in our awareness. Our hearts were simultaneously flooded with hope and despair. All has been shaken loose, like a deck of cards thrown into the air. We have crossed the eclipse threshold into the unknown. The cosmic stargates guide our journey into the New Earth timeline. As we continue to assimilate and integrate the eclipse upgrades, we are getting closer to the next Saturn-Uranus square on Monday, June 14th. You may be feeling frustration as Saturn square Uranus triggers escalating tension and unexpected changes. This astrological transit is the highlight of 2021, a year of great change. The more flexible you are to new life experiences, sudden shifts and opportunities, the easier the journey will be. On Monday, June 21st, the solstice gateway occurs when the sun stands still between light and dark. Every year the solstice stargate initiates new ascension upgrades to your body, heart and mind. With active participation, you have available a moment of immense potential and opening to vast possibilities. It is a moment of clarity, the evaporation of veils. The galactic solstice spotlight reveals your true essence in a flash of illumination. Imagine you are bathed in crystalline diamond light, revealing all that you are. It is a profound homecoming. The June solstice is on the first day of Cancer, the sign of Universal Mother, feminine nurturing, leading with the heart. As our hearts heal, the planet heals. When an old regime dissolves, the new begins. Into the ashes of the void, we build the new 5D Garden of Eden. According to the laws of physics, wherever there is a void, the universe seeks to fill it. It is our mission to fill the zero-point void with a new world template fueled with love, peace, and harmony. From NewEarthCentral.com Now today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Venus and Cancer square Chiron and Aries. Sweet Venus and Cancer is all about snuggles and soft kisses, but today's connection to wounded healer Chiron feels like lumps in the bed, 
Lego on a bare foot, a shot to the heart. Maybe it feels like we can't get comfortable because deep down, old anger boils. Things that were said long ago that made us feel broken, hurt, wrong, soiled. Maybe it's just that out there it feels too loud, too much, and we want to hide away, tending to wounds, nursing dejection and rejection. Asteroids Truth and Vespa, Wasp, sit beside Venus. Sometimes the truth stings. And yet if difficult feelings arise, this is an opportunity to recover equilibrium, soothe the pain, realize where you are strong. Being strong doesn't mean shutting down the heart, never feeling vulnerable, never loving again. Don't hide away, find safe and constructive ways to process anger and rage. Let go of resentment. Comfort yourself through heartbreak. Remind yourself over and over, I am here. You are loved. It's getting better. Love yourself for the history you have lived and survived. The scars you bear are a testament to your warrior strength. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 180, Yellow Spectral Sun. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are liberate, dissolve, and release. The 11th day of a wave spell is always a challenge to the wave spell itself. We are in the white dog wave spell, and today we are liberated from that agenda. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. The yellow sun has been the challenge for this dog wave spell, and so people born on yellow sun have been having a tough time. Today shall bring some relief. For the rest of us, the light will shine on something unforeseen, and this enlightenment liberates us. Knowledge is power. The guy today is also the yellow sun, and so a double helping of sunny energy. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Yellow Spectral Sun, Kin 180, 12th of June 2021, Liberating Enlightenment, 12 6 2021, equal 12 6 5, equal 12 11, equal 3 2, equal 5, 12 Acquiring Knowledge Strength, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance, 11 Gate, Portal, Polarity, 2 Twins, Partners, Cooperation, 5 Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation, Kin 180 equal 9, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace, Liberating Our Light. We have the spectral tone of liberation with a 5 daily code of liberation, so double freedom power today. Day 11 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are liberating our light. We are liberating the love within us through shining our light independently and dissolving all that is not light and love. Tone of creation spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. So today is all about emotional release, allowing that energy and motion to be expressed and dissolved. Allow the tears, the laughter, the joy to be expressed. No holding back. Connect with your higher wisdom, giving you the intelligence to carve a new path of liberation. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core woundings of old, ancient, ancestral patterns and cycles, choosing to release and liberate all that no longer serves our well-being. These are very powerful energies at work to create final closure, dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true sovereignty. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting you to step through into a new, more divine reality in your perfected, golden, Christed body. The double liberation gate is fully open today. The energy today is open to your chalice and to receive all the Creator's love that you can hold within your vessel. Then radiate your love and light by sharing the nectar in your golden chalice with all your relations. Blessed be, dear ones. Today's question is what do I need to dissolve and release in order to liberate more love and light and rise in an, as an enlightened sovereign being? Divine blessings for releasing all shackles to liberate all your love and pure light. And Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 180, Yellow, Spectral Sun. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to enlighten, releasing life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 
And on this powerful day of liberation and freedom, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us and our work and mission and helping us to be able to continue our work bringing these daily transmissions to the world and other teachings and practices. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses. So if you'd like to support our work and help us to continue bringing these messages to the world and awakening our teams of light warriors all over this realm, you can make a pledge on the link at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Jan Louise Bontes, for your donation today. We'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Latasha Payne, for your donation. We appreciate you, Angels of the Light. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so at our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Kathy Huber, for your purchase. My goddess now has made-to-order Zodiac goddess totems for sale and other works of art you can check out at lunagoddessart.com. Now I'd like to complete today's transmissions with more powerful codes from our Pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 Messages, June 12th, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Frozen are liberated for elevation. Divine providences are taken. Old articulators in regeneration. Solitudes expand as inner gazes are activated. Magnetic crystals are necessarily activated. Astral blocks go into deconstruction. Divine counselors arrive. Shaman fauna powers in internal alignment projectors aimed. Terran reverberation, 27% non-regressive. Port 144 released. Divine teaching standards are announced. Nevix support in tune, 28% non-regressive. Port 144 released. Divine teaching standards are announced. Nevik Terran reverberation, 29% non-regressive. Portals are more accessible. Divine frequency increases. Waves of awareness increase. Axis adjusted by angelics. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1 potentiating Lemurian inheritances from DisclosureNews.it. So thank you for joining us today on this most auspicious day of awakenings activations while we are dreaming while awake. Dream time becomes lucid and this world as the messiahs, we, our great spirit, having a lucid dream in this now. So as we awaken the 37 into the 73, heaven on earth, all becomes made, manifest, all that has been hidden shall be revealed as the eyes of our spirit open and we come to know all things. And through the power of our pure awareness of our mighty I am presence, we are activated in this now. So always remember, I am the way, the truth, and the light. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha, which is our pure awareness, our true nature. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening journey and be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.